Here we go. Baseball pass. Caught. Clock runs. Okafor puts it up. Oh! 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 He banked it! There have been a lot of interesting storylines in this year's NBA season, but one of the more recent ones is how the number two pick of the 2004 NBA draft has saved his career. And that guy's name is Emeka Okafor. Today, Emeka is 35 years old and now the New Orleans Pelicans starting center after being out of the NBA since 2013. Welcome back you guys and let's talk about why Emeka was no longer in the NBA, his journey back, and how he's helping the Pelicans center position while DeMarcus Cousins is out. You know, there's only about six weeks left in the NBA season and if you want to see the Pelicans or any other team play before it ends, then I would recommend checking out the SeatGeek app. Personally, I have used the SeatGeek app before to see an NBA game and it's not just for sports either. They also have concerts and other events that you can browse. And what SeatGeek does is it puts tickets together from all over the web into one location and then they give those tickets a rating out of 100. So if it's green, then it's a great deal. If it's red, then you know it's trash. No doubt the best feature is that you're able to see what your seats look like before you purchase them. If this is something you'd be interested in, the link to the SeatGeek app will be in the description. And to get $20 off your first purchase, you can use my code KANE at checkout. Emeka Okafor is a 6 foot 10, 250 pound center that was picked second overall in the 2004 NBA draft by the Charlotte Bobcats. Emeka was coming off a national title in college and his rookie season with the Bobcats went as well as a season possibly could. In 73 games, he averaged 15 points and 11 rebounds and it was good enough for him to win rookie of the year. Emeka is known for his rebounding and shot blocking. He had three seasons where he finished top 10 in total rebounds and two seasons where he finished top 10 in blocks per game. He was a double-double machine and just a solid player to have in your starting lineup. Emeka wasn't a game-changing player that most people expect out of a top two pick in the draft, but he was a good player that could accept any role on the team. He was a great locker room guy. In his five seasons with the Bobcats, he averaged 14 points and 11 rebounds. But in the summer of 2009, the Bobcats traded him to the New Orleans Hornets for Tyson Chandler. The Hornets needed a center because Tyson Chandler kept getting injured, and Emeka played four seasons there before getting traded to the Wizards. Emeka's last season in the NBA was the 2012-2013 season with the Washington Wizards, and he averaged 10 points and 9 rebounds in 79 games. But going into the 2013-2014 year, he suffered a herniated disc in his neck, and he was forced to sit out the entire year. The Wizards were looking to make the playoffs for the first time since 2008, so they traded him to the Suns in a deal for Marcin Gortat, but he obviously never played for Phoenix because of the injury. It took years for Emeka to fully recover, and he wasn't medically cleared to play again until May 2017. Emeka said that he just took his time with the whole process, from the rehab to his conditioning. He just waited until he was 100% comfortable with his body before making his comeback. Now, Emeka was 32 years old before that season, and I would assume that most people would probably retire if they had to sit out not just one season, not two seasons, but three NBA seasons. That is a very long time to be out of the league, but Emeka still had a passion for hoops. Here's what he said in an interview recently. From the moment I got injured, my mindset was that I wanted to get back. I didn't anticipate it taking as long as it did, but my mindset was that I want to get back, I want to play the game again. The Sixers signed Emeka in September 2017, and he played in the preseason but eventually got waived. The Sixers G League affiliate picked him up and in 26 games there, he averaged 7 points, 8 rebounds on 61% shooting. Emeka was disappointed he did not get signed by the Sixers, but he was appreciating the experience of not knowing if you'll have a contract in a month. He was enjoying the grind of having to prove himself again, and Emeka said this, Perspective is a blessing. My time in the G League was all about perspective. I gained a greater appreciation for the grind, seeing the grind from the other side of undrafted players, non-guaranteed contracts, trying to fight. On February 3rd, the Pelicans signed him out of the G League to a 10-day contract. The Pelicans were hurting for a center because DeMarcus Cousins was out. They needed depth and somebody to play center so Anthony Davis doesn't have to the entire game. And he's already made a huge impact. In his third game, Emeka had four blocks in 20 minutes, and against the Heat a week ago, he had five blocks in just 18 minutes. He got another 10-day deal, and after that, the Pelicans signed him for the remainder of the season. He's given the Pels solid minutes defending Joel Embiid, Hassan Whiteside, and Andre Drummond, so AD does not have to. While he was hurt, Emeka kept up with how the NBA game was changing, and he had to adjust a bit. He said in an interview that, Luckily for me, I am quick for my size, I have quick feet. 
I've always been an undersized center, so in today's game that actually helps me. I have an old school toughness. He has been a great locker room presence for them and he does not care if he plays 0 minutes or 20, he just wants to be a part of the team. Head coach Al Gentry said, Our guys really like him and get along with him. I think he's all about the team. He's been that way his whole career. Just having him around, I think he's been really good. Really cool story. Again, most people would probably retire from the NBA if they had another injury that ruined their career. But Emeka took his time with the injury so he'd be ready for this moment and he actually fits perfect for this era of NBA basketball so it's almost been an easy transition. It is not often you see somebody that's out of the league that long then comes back and makes an immediate impact. That's great for Emeka, he's been a nice insurance policy for the Pelicans. What do you guys think, will Emeka get picked up by a team next year? Reading interviews about him, everyone seems to like him and they say he's a hard worker, so I think there's a chance a team will sign him next year. I appreciate it if you made it to this point of the video. If you enjoyed one part, leave a like as it helps my channel grow, and I'll see you guys in my next video.